Uh, dear professors, dear colleagues, it is really great honor to be here today and to participate in this uh, uh, significant uh, international uh, conference. Uh, I would like firstly to thank uh, our organizers and co-organizers uh, as well uh, and the Central European Academy for the opportunity to be here today with you. Since this is the last uh, session, I will try to sum up my uh, findings and uh, to follow the time schedule. Uh, so the, the topic of my uh, presentation, as you have already heard, is non-territorial autonomy and the protection of uh, the symbols of religious organizations and, uh, no, and the minor, uh, national, national minorities. Uh, if we try to find the first uh, NTA or uh, non uh, a territorial arrangement in the region of Serbia, anyway, that would be the so-called Ottoman millet, millet system uh, that uh, uh, had been uh, enforced by Ottoman uh, Empire. And actually, the Ottomans conferred uh, autonomy on religious groups on a non-territorial basis, while the religious leaders were functionaries of the uh, Ottoman state. Uh, within the Orthodox uh, millet of Ottoman Empire, there was also a separate Serbian Orthodox millet because uh, Serbs had uh, built their nation uh, feelings uh, at least uh, since the 16th century, so they separate, were separated from other Christians in uh, the Ottoman Empire. Uh, later in the Principality and uh, the Kingdom of uh, Serbia, there were two types uh, of non-territorial autonomy, if we can uh, call that uh, by this in this uh, terminology. So that was the, as you can see, gypsy tax collector. Collector uh, that was uh, he was uh, actually reta uh, re retained with juridical and administrative jurisdiction over nomadic Roma in the uh, Kingdom of Serbia. And the other one example is. Uh, Jewish community that enjoyed autonomy uh, in this small state. Of course, there were no any regulations on symbols of those uh, minorities because uh, the uh, Serbian state was a state uh, mostly inhabited by Serbs. Uh, only a few thousand of uh, non-Serbs lived in, in the kingdom of Serbia, so uh, minorities were... Uh, there, there was no question about the, the legal status of uh, minorities, although in this, time, in this period of history uh, the focus of the legislator was on uh, state, uh, state symbols and not on the symbols of national minorities. Everything changed in 1918 uh, when the Kingdom of, Ser of Yugoslavia of Serbs, Croats and Slovenes was established. Uh, the legal status of minorities uh, was firstly regulated by international treaties uh, conduct, concluded at the Paris Conference in 1990, 1919. Uh, later, the Constitution of 2000, uh, 1921 and a large number of laws and bylaws uh, protected the rights, rights of minorities in the field of education, uh, information, publishing, sports, uh, etc. Um, also, uh, inter uh, there were international uh, bilateral agreements between Yugoslav the Kingdom of Yugoslavia and uh, neighboring, neighboring uh, countries. Uh, unfortunately, not, not with Hungary for some historical reasons. Uh, uh, so there were no specific regulations, of course, regarding the legal protection of, of the symbols of those minorities. Uh, and uh, when we come to religious organizations, uh, special laws were uh, regulated their uh, status in the state in uh, the Yugoslavia, but uh, those laws and so-called constitutions, but they don't, those no were, were not, of course, constitutions. Those were status statutes of uh, religious organizations. Uh, they never regulated the symbols of those organizations. Uh, there is one exception, and that would be the state, uh, the state or the, the constitution of the Serbian Orthodox Church that contained one small provision uh, about uh, the coat of arms of uh, Serbian Orthodox Church, but without any other uh, regulation about the display or the legal protection or uh, anything else. Uh, generally speaking, in this period of history, religious symbols were common in the public sphere, uh, but this uh, field was unregulated. After 1946, 
uh, minorities were equated with the nations that lived in the territory of the, so, of the Federal People's Republic of Yugoslavia. Uh, and uh, with the adoption of the 1963 uh, Constitution, uh, there was a change in the terminology. Uh, I think this is uh, common for all social states. Uh, uh, instead of the term minorities, uh, was used uh, the term nationalities. Uh, probably, uh, I know that the same was in Czechoslovakia, probably in other uh, states. Uh, the Constitution of 1974 provides that nationalities, so minorities, exercise their rights in republics, provinces, and municipalities as a basic socio-political communities. Uh, although the system of protection of minorities has been significantly improved in accordance to the general progress of the protection of national minorities at the international level, there were no specific uh, regulations on symbols of national minorities. My core, my core presenter will uh, give you more information about this in, uh, for the region of uh, Vojvodina. Uh, in regard to religious organizations, uh, it, it is necessary to be said that, to be mentioned that after the Second World War, the whole system of state religion relations was changed. Uh, the re religion was separated from the state, and uh, religious uh, communities lost uh, the so called uh, legal entity of uh, the status of legal entities of public law. Uh, even uh, so, the, there were no any regulations on, uh, on the use of uh, religious symbols in public sphere, uh, although uh, there are some there were some obstacles for those who used uh, religious symbols um, to express their commitment to some religion, uh, they could face uh, some uh, uh, problems or even to suffer certain consequences uh, or to be prevented of exercising the rights available to others. Um, the use, uh, detail, appearance and protection uh, of uh, state symbols was uh, regulated, were regulated by 1977 law on the use of coats of arms, uh, and that is the most important law uh, on which is based actually in the, today's uh, legislation of Serbia. After the collapse of the Socialist uh, Re Federal Republic of Yugoslavia, five stars, uh, five states were uh, sorry uh, were formed, among which was the Federal Republic of Yugoslavia. Uh, there were two significant uh, acts uh, important for national minorities and various symbols. Uh, the first one was the declaration of the people's representatives of Serbia and Montenegro and uh, the constitution that was adopted uh, at the same time. In both documents was emphasized the determination of the state to ensure the highest standards of protection of the rights of national minorities. Uh, the constitution of 1922 made the national minorities subjects of law uh, and that was a kind of preparation for the new system that will be uh, introduced uh, after the, the 2000. After, 2000. after gaining, <coughs> gaining independence in 2006, uh, the Republic of Serbia has improved the inherited system of protecting the rights of national minorities. The legal framework uh, governing the legal position of minorities uh, consists of the constitution, uh, the law on protection of the rights of, and freedoms of national minorities, and uh, the law on national councils of national minorities. Uh, and there are many other laws, of course, that regulate uh, uh, the rights of uh, minorities in the field of information, in the field of uh, uh, education, and so on. Uh, the Constitution, you can see the relevant uh, norms here, guaranteed the national minorities their uh, collective rights. Uh, also, uh, as you can see here, persons that belong to uh, national minorities may elect their national councils in order to exercise the right to self-governance in the field of culture, education, infor information, and official use of their language and script in accordance, of course, with the law. Uh, the right of the members of national minorities to use their symbols in public places is among the rights, you can see uh, down there, uh, mentioned in the Article 79 of the Constitution. Uh, the use of national symbols of national minorities is regulated more in, in more de detail by the law on the protection of the rights and freedoms of national minorities. It guarantees the members of national minority, minorities to the right to choose and use their national uh, symbols. 
Um, those symbols are proposed by national councils and they are um, ratified by the Council for National Minorities. I will say something more about that later. Uh, the legislator has also provided for certain restrictions. Uh, it is stipulated that the national symbols of minorities may not be identical with the symbols of other state or country. And so here you can see, uh, for example, the, the, this is a tricky, tricky question. Which one is the, the flag of Slovakia? Uh, actually, uh, so you can see from the right is the flag of uh, Slovakian uh, minority, minority in Serbia, and from the left is uh, the flag uh, of, of Slovakia. So uh, differences, uh, you can play this game, spot the difference. Uh, uh, so uh, also uh, you can see uh, Hungarian, uh, Croatian, sorry, uh, uh, the flag of Croatian minority. So this is one question that could be arised. Uh, what does it mean not identical? Uh, is, is it enough just to change the color, color around this uh, uh, coat of arms? Yes, it is, obviously. Uh, the, the second question is, can you mix the already existed state symbols of the other state? Uh, the example is Hungarian min minority, the flag of Hungarian minority. You can see uh, that is actually Hungarian state flag with Hungarian coat of arms on, on, on it. So it is possible, uh, uh, obviously. Um, so uh, in accordance uh, with the law on national councils of national minorities, uh, the Na National Council is uh, organization legally entrusted with certain public uh, competencies to participate in the decision making or independently to make decisions. Uh, the National Council's members uh, are elected in direct elections to a four-year term. Those elections were two days ago on, on the past Sunday. Uh, so uh, there have been many discussions about the legal nature of uh, national councils, uh, which is not surprising given the doubts uh, that arise when it comes to the non-territorial -territori autonomy in general. More about this, uh, probably you can hear about the, I would say, the leading expert in this field, uh, Professor Korkis, that will speak after me. Uh, so uh, 23 national councils are registered at, uh, in Serbia at the moment, including the uh, Jewish uh, Federation of uh, Jewish Communities of Serbia. Uh, regarding the national symbols, the national councils decide on their symbols and they determine the proposal of national symbols of national minorities. The final decision uh, on the symbols of national minorities is made by the Council for National Minorities that is actually made from the presidents of uh, councils of national minorities, all of them, uh, plus uh, ministers that are responsible for uh, the rights of uh, national minorities in their fields. Uh, special decisions of the Council for National Minorities from 2006 have enforced the national symbols of uh, Bunjevac, Bosniak, Hungarian, and Croatian national minorities. Then we had some problems with uh, constituting this um, uh, council. And in 2009, uh, the same council was uh, ratified the coat of arms flag and national holidays of the Bulgarian, Wallachian, Vale Macedonian, Romanian, Ruthenian, and Ukrainian national uh, minorities. Uh, while uh, it has only ratified the coat of arms and the flag of the German and Slovak uh, minorities, they didn't propose, I don't know what, uh, what are the reasons, uh, their national holidays. In regard to religious organizations, the Constitution of 2006 and the Serbian legislation do not regulate the right of religious organizations to use their own uh, symbols. Uh, I'm talking about the symbols, the flags, coat of arms of religious organizations and not about religious symbols as uh, crucif crucif crucifixion or uh, uh, any, any other religious uh, uh, symbol. Uh, religious symbols enjoy a certain degree of protection under criminal law as uh, their defamation carries uh, eight, uh, one to eight years prison sentence. Uh, however, the condition is that uh, the defamation is done with the aim of causing or inciting national, racial, or religious hatred and intolerance. Uh, and finally, uh, last time I, I was here in, in June uh, during our conference, I brought uh, one ball with me to show you the 
uh, problem, the lack of regulation of uh, the uh, commercial use of uh, state symbols. Now I brought again something with me, but it has nothing to do with with, uh, with the children. Actually, now it's it's not so sweet story. <laughs> now it is uh, uh, something that uh, I have to mention because uh, it has to do with symbols and uh, with their protection, and also it is a unique situation that happens at this moment in in, in the whole Europe probably. Uh, those are stickers uh, prepared and made to cover state symbols. Uh, now, maybe you wonder why would anyone uh, cover state symbols? This is actually a situation uh, and the administrative line between uh, the Kosovo, the, the promise of Kosovo, and the central Serbia. Uh, according to the agreement between uh, Pristina and Belgrade, uh, and in order to avoid the uh, appearing of uh, the symbols of the, per of the institutions in Pristina inside of Serbia and vice versa, uh, there is an agreement that the state symbols will be covered by those stickers in order to be, uh, in order to be allowed for uh, vehicles to uh, enter the territory of uh, the promise of Kosovo and and uh, Serbia. So uh, I'm not going to talk about this. This is something that uh, I would need uh, more more time, more years maybe, to, to explain. Uh, but uh, this is, uh, I think that this shows this connection, the interplay between the autonomy, the uh, sovereignty, and, uh, and the, this struggle for the protection of uh, uh, integrity, territorial integrity, uh, how can it be connected with, with state symbols and with the level of protection of, of state symbols? Uh, and this is also one more proof uh, that uh, our uh, research topic is actually very relevant and, and needed. Uh, so thank you for your attention, and I hope that I... Yes, okay, I have... That's it. Thank you.